Yo, what's going on, guys? This is gym vlog number three. We are back at the gym. This is actually the day after I recorded gym vlog number two. But honestly, I don't know I'm gonna upload this. So y'all gonna see when, obviously, I upload it. But we are back. I just got off of school. I'm just eating right now. I got myself a sandwich. And I'm just drinking some water, getting hydrated. But we are hitting arms today. Now, I don't like to do arms, we're doing arms. Triceps and biceps. I just don't like charms because I like having a separate day for my shoulders. And I feel like my shoulders have grown a lot from that, but that's just me personally. But anyways, if y'all don't know me, I'm Jay. I post gym content, but I'm going to be doing a lot of other stuff here. I'm going to talk about religion, have conversations with y'all. But besides that, a lot of rants, conversations, talk about religion. Um, I want to talk about the Bible, maybe do some Bible studies on here, maybe. Uh, I'm still seeing about that if I really wanted to do Bible studies in here, but I'm not sure yet. But anyways, um, I came here. It's like Tuesday, 1 p.m. Bad weather. There's more people in the parking lot than I thought, so I'm wondering if it's actually packed in there or not. So I'm about to see. Hopefully it's not. I would like a chill day. But if if not, then just kind of have to work my way around it. But um, goals for today for biceps, definitely I want to try to do eight reps with 80 pounds on the easy bar curl. And for triceps, um, hmm. last time I did dips with two plates in the 25 for five reps. So I want to match that this time or even go a little bit above because I did just bench 235 for a new PR. So I'm assuming I got a little stronger. So I don't know. We'll see. But I'll meet y'all in there when I finish this sandwich. So, okay. I just got to the gym. It's not too packed actually. So, just getting my dip belt out, getting that ready for when we move on to there. I'm probably going to start with body weight dips, see how I'm feeling. I know my shoulder was a little, felt a little weird after I hit that PR, so. That's light. Alright. Next. Obviously, got one plate. I'll probably have to start stretching my workouts a little better, like based on like percentages and stuff, because I think that's like what power lifters do. But I'm honestly, I'm honestly not sure. I gotta do some research on that, but I guess we'll see. Okay. That was not bad either. I'm gonna go grab uh, another 45 plate because they don't have a lot of free weights here. They're all by like other machines. So I'm gonna take a few, then go grab another 45, and then we'll see how the next set goes. So we're back. Got um, two plates. So honestly, let's see how that goes. I think it'll go pretty well. Um, my target, I think I'm gonna go for eight. And then based off how eight moves, then I'll see like where we'll proceed from there. Honestly, ah. Uh... I don't know how I feel about that. Eight one was pretty hard. So jumping to another 25 seems kind of like unrealistic, honestly. But I think we got it, honestly. I think if I take, take my time, I think it's like a break stretch, get my mind right, then I think we'll honestly be good. So I say we just go for it. Okay. Oh, 
should have done 10. I don't know why that didn't go up smooth. I mean, well, it's obvious, like, because I had a 25 and I had a hard time with eight reps, but I didn't even do it too long ago. But maybe my arms are tired because, actually, I have no idea. I don't know why. I could have gone for another rep there, but my arms were not having it, and I don't like this zip bar either. So whatever, got some good sets in. So we just finished up our dips. I'm probably gonna move on to a Smith machine to impress, or just a close bench, close grip bench. I honestly might go with the Smith machine. Just so I can target the triceps more, more isolated. So yeah, let me move these away, and I'll meet y'all there. Since this one's more of like an isolated movement, I might just add a 45 and then see how that feels because I haven't done these in a while, to be honest. But also since this angle, I'm kind of sitting more forward on the bench so when i press up it's not too high above my head so i'm kind of pressing like that it's not bad i meant uh I didn't mean lower on the bench, I meant higher. Because then my, then if I set, if I set higher, then it'd be more above my head. I want it a little bit shorter. But I felt that like right around here. And that's exactly where I want to feel it. So, so I might add a 10 and a five and then see how that feels after that. And then, then we'll go from there again. <laughs> I think we do 185. That was eight clean reps. Yeah. I'm usually not able to go this high, so it's either I just gained a crazy amount of strength for like this Smith machine is lighter than ones I'm usually used to using. Either way, we're at 185. I'm definitely gonna take my time with this one. Definitely take a couple minutes to rest so I can perform at my peak right now but yeah I'll get back to y'all when I get there all right we're back got 185 on just a couple minutes so let's see how this goes Nope. Ooh. Oh, that could have been really bad. <laughs> the safeties are all the way down. <sighs> oh. I got you. Now you're good. Don't worry about it, bro. Let me do a drop set. And then that's it for these. That was a really good set. Let's so get a deep pause. Ugh. <sighs> 
That was good. We did dips, jam press. I want to do skull crushers now. I'll probably do like two sets. And I'm going to move on the biceps. But yeah, let me go find a bench and an easy bar curl, and then we'll get started. All right, we got the, got the little pump cover off. I want to really do it before I leave. All right, go to the triceps at least. Or, Biceps, y'all know what I mean. I want to do some skull crushers. Honestly, I have the hardest time setting this up. But I'm going to try to go for at least six. So, I'm just going to get up there. That's probably the worst way of setting it up. Okay, I only got five in, but that wasn't bad. I think my max is five or six. I just did some heavy sets, so I'm kind of happy with that. Next thing I'm going to do is, all my biceps are fresh. I'm going to use the 80s and do some east bar curls. I think earlier I said I want to do eight, so I'm still aiming for that. So let me just refill, refresh, recover, and then let's get straight to that. We're back. Gonna get these easy bar curls over with and done with. Uh, see, I don't know if people do it like the far further grip. Like, I just don't really like how that feels. I'm more of a closer grip kind of guy. <clears throat> Awesome. Do I move on the 90s now? I'm scared of 90s. I've never even touched those. There's only like one way to find out. So, I guess I'm moving up. Gonna do 90s. Hopefully, I can hit that for like at least five. But if not, aim for at least four. Okay, we're back. Got the 90s. Gonna try. Trying to go for five, but yeah, it took a couple minutes. I feel a little bit better, so let's just see how this goes. <clears throat> burns my forearms too. I don't know if that's supposed to do that, but got for a clean five. Well, sort of clean. Cheated a little, a little bit, but for the most part, that was a pretty good set. Um, next up, I'm gonna move on to hammer curls. Probably gonna do the 50s. Probably do 50s. I've always started with them, so honestly, I don't know how many I'm gonna do. But 
I'm gonna try to go for around five to eight reps. So yeah, let me go get some of the dumbbells and then I'll be back with y'all. Back, moving on to hammer curls. I got the 50s right here, so honestly, let's see how these move. Not as clean as I wanted. So I'll probably stay around this weight. Probably take a break for 90 seconds and do the same thing. And I got one more dumbbell workout after this or bicep. I'm gonna do incline curls right here. And that's really it. And I might do something after, but we'll see. Honestly, I don't feel like that went a little bit better than I thought it would. My form was breaking a little bit. I was bringing my elbows like a little too far to the back than I wanted. But I think overall, it was still a pretty decent set. But now I'm going to move on to, I'm just going to move on to incline curls. Probably do like only two sets of those. If this bench will work. There we go. Do some incon curls. And then. And then, yeah, I think that's it after that. So, let's get straight to it. I got one more set of these and then then we're good. That, that feels nice. Alright, got one more set. So I'll take, take a little break and then we're gonna get right back to it. I think that's really it. Yeah, my triceps, I was really good. Biceps, I was also pretty good. But yeah, that's really all I got for y'all. So, I might go to the bathroom to see my pump though. And then we out of here. All right guys, I just got back to my car. As you can see, can you see? Yeah, it's, you guys can see it's snowing. So, gotta be a little extra careful on the road today. Yeah, let's, let's clear that up before we start going. I think today's session went pretty good. Um, I was using, using the personal trainer's room to do film some of my sets. So, I actually had like a lot more free space to do my my videos and stuff than I thought but the gym wasn't that packed and it, the roads are like not even that good right now like they're getting pretty bad and people a lot more people are showing up now for some reason it's probably because like three o'clock I think so a lot of high schoolers just got out of um, school
school. So hopefully they all make it back home safe on everybody else there because the roads are not nice. Because I, I came straight here from school and the roads, the roads were not pretty. I skidded a couple times, so I don't know how they're looking now. I'm not as far away from home as I was from school though, so don't have that long of a trip. Yeah, I'm very happy with how today went. You know, did did like a new weight with uh, triceps and uh, biceps too. You know, I did the 90s and I did like the 185 on the Smith machine. I genuinely don't think that I can do that on like the Smith machines at my school. I think it's because they, I think that one has like less resistance or more resistance or something. But I have no idea. Maybe it was the Tims again. Maybe, maybe the, maybe the Tims help me with pressing movements. But like, when I'm in the air doing dips, like that's like an extra ten pounds to be honest. I just started school today though. I only had one class. It went good. Um, but this year I would like to do a lot better academically. Maybe meet some great people who like will inspire me to do better things in my life and. Maybe I can also inspire other people to do better things in their life as well. Because, you know, that's that's really, like, one of my main goals. Why I, like, do stuff like this and film myself it was, is to encourage people to be their best selves. You know, it doesn't have to be page by page what I do. But, you know, uh, just creating opportunities for yourself to do something good with your life. Even if you are already, you know, there's there's no limit to, like, really what you can do with yourself. And, and that's really, like, the great thing. You know, there's always something more you could do. I feel like one thing I could also do better at this year is managing my time. Because I get so focused on one thing. And, you know, you can't only care about one thing in life and put your energy into one thing. As much as it, like, probably sucks, you just can't do that. That's not how life works. You gotta, like spread your wealth and your energy and your time between a lot of things in order to be successful you gotta make sacrifices you gotta be resilient but you know it's all part of the process so and that's a couple things i want to do better at this year in order to be more successful in terms of my physical progress though like those pump pictures in the bathroom they weren't that bad i want to get a little bit of fat off my off of my stomach the thing is like that's that's where all my fat goes so I'm like generally lean like the rest of my body, but my stomach, that's where all of it goes. So I just have to eat a little bit better in order to achieve that. I'm still trying to bulk up. I'm still around 170 right now. I'm actually having a hard time bulking just because I got so many things going on. But I, that's, so, that's one thing I got to work on again, like making time to eat and eat good meals. You know, it's not something impossible. That I, I know it's achievable for me. So I just gotta have time to do that. I'm not saying I'm not happy with my physique, but I'm just looking for points where like I know I could do better at. I think ever since like I even started playing video games, it was my dream to become like a content creator, like do some form of social media just to like inspire people and you know have a good time. And you know those goals change, like I used to do video games. And then I stopped, and then I realized that's not something that I was really, like, passionate about, you know? Like, I like I loved it, and I still love video games to this day. I just don't play them as often because I don't have the time. But it wasn't a passion to me, and it wasn't something I could see myself doing for, like, the rest of my life. Especially because I, I wasn't that good. I, I, I would like to say I'm pretty, I was pretty good. I still am pretty good. Don't hate on that. But I would like to say, I think I made the right decision in terms of that, you know, like, I feel like I could take, I feel like God has a different calling for me. And maybe this is it. Maybe this is one of the things. And maybe it's not. But it's just about just praying and seeing what God's plan is, you know. God's plan is never going to be your exact plan. But, you know, we have to be grateful that he has a plan for us and you know, in the end, we'll all be happy that it's his plan and not our plan that worked out. These throws are icy. <laughs> Some guy was knocking off the ice in his door. He couldn't open it. Jeez. Oh, sh Oh, f me. I can't stop. Because if 
I if I go down this hill then I'm going to actually die if I slide out <sighs> alright that road was not properly snowed in okay that that was not my fault I was going like two miles an hour but that's that definitely scared that definitely scared the crap out of me <laughs> I gotta I gotta go back and watch my face yo <laughs> okay I probably had the blankest look on my face for some reason for some reason like I just I, I can't like have like a good reaction I'm scared like maybe my eyes are open but like I'm not like ah. just like I can't stop <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this for content. I swear I was already recording. Okay, let me pull over to the side here. So this shovel could get through. Okay, there we go. Okay, you just shovel there. So I think we're good for now. Oh my goodness. Yo, that was crazy. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I was going to edit out me cursing, but I think it's better to keep it in there. Maybe I'll bleep it out, but it shows like my honest process that like I have goals and I make mistakes and you know, goals, goals aren't like this or like this. They're not linear. You know, you're going to go here, you're going to go here, go, go down here, down here, go down here. Then, then eventually you're going to go back up. God willing, you know, God got a plan for you, but I'm trying my best to stop cursing or at least the very least keep it to like a minimum. But I know in a perfect world, I know like I'm not gonna like not hear curses like the majority of places where I go. But it's just more of a personal preference rather than something I'm trying to like, rather than something that I'm trying to uh, encourage people actively to not do. Even though like it wouldn't hurt, but that's not like my main goal with that. My main goal is to do it for myself. All right, but I just got home. My mic's about to die, so it's whatever. But thank God we're good. Got back home safe. But yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me some feedback, you know, what you enjoyed, what you want to see next, whatever, you know. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Y'all know the drill. But until next time, stay safe. Don't follow me, follow God. I'll see y'all. Love y'all.